Welcome to Soul Town, my dear adult fans of Lego. And in today's episode, we will be working on this corner over here. Previous to the video I made, I built a hotel, the narrow hotel over here. And then off camera, I added a building that I actually made a video about, but for a secondary channel that I'm kind of like testing out and see how the algorithm is working with that. But as you can see, there's a staircase here now. And that leads up to this level. So you have a door over there and the building that will be over here will also have a door there. Important public announcement, make sure to like and subscribe. First off, we have the basement floor and you can see we have that wood paneling going on there, kind of like a 60s, 70s vibe. This is where the staircase will be. And then you have a side window there to the street, to the street. And here is the basement living room. And I really like this raised platform that I have going on there. There's some art on the wall and you, of course a sofa and a couch and she has a television over there that can swivel. This is uh, of course the state's head scientist. She's in charge of the nuclear program and she has a yoga mat here where she can kind of like relax, meditate, do some yoga because being in charge of the nuclear program is uh, something that weighs heavy on her consciousness. Oh, some popcorn there as well. Kind of rem reminiscence of a nuclear bomb explosion art on the wall and uh, a drawer there. Pretty nice. The second floor is kind of like the first floor, I guess. It's the main level, the entry level, where you will come in through this side. There will be a door here and a window. This is, of course, the kitchen with her pet penguin. She has a lot of amenities that you would uh, have in the kitchen. Her wa dishwasher, uh, coffee maker, towels, sink, made and made ever sinking, oven, a stove and a microwave and fridge freeze combo and just a small little side table there because she's single ready to mingle. Final floor and that's uh, the floor where we have the bathroom so she can take a bath, her penguin can take a bath, she has a small little toilet there, a nice side panel and um, she has that commode and uh, I'm pretending that this is a mirror, it's just a gray tile, but I think that works and a door in between there. And the bedroom is super compact, but I like using these uh, panel pieces with uh, large stickers from friend sets and so on. They had a lot of detail for narrow spaces and a little side table there with a lamp. Super comfy. Let's put all of this together. So these just stacks on top of each other. Like so, basically. I added the door here as a support for this level. And you can see that this uh, painting down here actually acts as a support for this side as well. So that's kind of nifty. And then I'm going for this uh, nice blue color for the, for the facade. And it's kind of worn. You can see that the paint has fallen over. So you can see the brickwork underneath. Same for this. And I like this narrow kind of window for a narrow building. Makes them look a bit taller as well. The roof build is kind of simple. Not much going on there. I really like these larger plates. And that will go up here. Look at it. Look at it. Now I will place this in its place. Yeah, so I totally dropped it. And that will go down here. All right, I think that turned out quite lovely in the corner. It looks a bit like something from New York. To be honest, I hadn't really planned to have a staircase over here, but you see that all over Stockholm, which this is of course inspired by. And you can also see it in the Jan Love books. And it also ha helps it to kind of like difference itself from this corner over here. So that adds some sort of a fake elevation, but still you could imagine that uh, this might be some sort of a little hill behind here. And that's why they had to build a staircase over there. And I like the fact that this is finally completed after almost half a year. It used to have the train all visible running through here and now it's covered. So it makes me super happy and anxious. Yeah. Uh, behind here, I would like to add a bit of a higher building, similar to the skyscraper over there. So more modernistic in its architecture. And if you want to, you could hit that subscribe button because I'm trying to get to 1 million subscribers. 